Hello, it's Thursday, April the 29th, 2010, and I'm Martin Smith with a daily outlook from Maxiforex. The dollar did not change much after the FOMC decided to leave rates unchanged at 0.25%, and the Federal Reserve said it intends to keep US interest rates low. It closed mixed against the major currencies. Crude erased its previous losses to close at $83.30 a barrel, and gold closed almost unchanged at $1,165.50 an ounce. Today, initial jobless claims is expected at 442,000 versus 456,000 previously. The euro reached a one-year low at 131 zones after S&P downgraded Spain in addition to Greece and Portugal, only to bounce back to 132 zones. German prelim CPI came out at minus 0.1%, worse than expected, 0.1%. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 131.14 and a high of 132.65. Today, German unemployment change is expected at minus 11,000 versus minus 31,000 previously. The pound fell versus the dollar as general risk aversion pushed the pair to test 151 zones. If the 151.20 level doesn't break, sterling might rebound again. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 151.24 and a high of 152.87. Today, nationwide HPI is expected at 0.4% versus 0.7% previously. The dollar erased its previous losses against the yen and moved up to the 94 zone. Overall, the dollar yen traded with a low of 92.80 and a high of 94.31. Today, Tokyo Core CPI is expected at minus 2% versus minus 1.8% previously. Industrial production is expected at 0.9% versus minus 0.6% previously. The Canadian dollar strengthened as US stocks advanced and investors preferred the currencies of nations with relatively strong balance sheets. For further strength in the Canadian dollar, the pair should be trading below the 102.30 level. Overall, the dollar CAD traded with a low of 100.72 and a high of 101.95. That's it from me. Be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.